I know we all look at these and think, I wish I had their brushes and I could use them, then I can make my art look that good. I've been studying some of these artists and watching their process videos and found out that they really only use two brushes to get almost 90% of their painting done. I have done this entire painting using these two brushes. We'll talk about these two brushes and then explain the process of how to use them. The first brush that they all use is the soft round brush. So this soft round brush is amazing in creating, in creating smooth gradients and transitions. You can really use it to put in the main shadows and light shapes and give the general feel of the painting. You can really use it to sculpt your painting and you can use it to blend different colors together or even put in some color variations into different parts. A great way of using it also is by using the lasso tool to make a selection and then, or a clipping mask to only do the gradients in specific spots of your painting. The second brush is the hard round brush. From the name, you can obviously tell that you can use it to add hard edges. You use it alongside the airbrush to define shapes. You can, for example, use it for cast shadows and areas that have hard transition between surfaces or light and shadow. You can also use it to show reflected surfaces like light reflected off jewelry, for example. So depending on your workflow, you can start by using the hard round brush or the soft brush in your paintings, and they're both perfectly fine. So for example, I have seen Sam Does Arts use the hard round brush to put in the main colors in, and he uses it for a lot of his process to get the painting pretty far in before he changes the brush and renders more. So all you need to do for a process like that is just to pick the hard round brush and have the opacity control on so that when you're painting, you have, depending on how hard you push the brush, you get different colors in. You can also use it to block in your light and shadow shapes with hard edges everywhere first, and then slowly start rendering using the soft brush to blend in the colors and soften the hard edges in the places that make sense. The other way of doing it is to use a soft brush first to sculpt the painting using big brush strokes and slowly reducing the size of the airbrush or the, or the soft brush and adding more and more detail. When you use this technique, your painting starts to have more of a fuzzy look at first and slowly working your way into small brush strokes, you can add the details. And then finally, you can define the hard edges by changing your brush to, a, to the hard edge and add more details that way. And of course, both workflows are work perfectly fine and you can try the different ones and see which one work better for you. Now bonus tip is you can use a brush that is between these two. So what does that mean? You can have your round hard brush and reduce the hardness to close to 50%. This way when you're doing large brush strokes the edges are a bit softer than just the regular hard round brush and they blend in a little bit easier. But at the same time, if you reduce the size of your brush, you can create hard edges with the same brush. I do most of my paintings using this brush that is pretty much a hard, a hard round brush with the hardness reduced to about 50%. I only use the soft airbrush for adding color variations or, I'm, or if I'm trying to do, or if I'm trying to blend in specific areas and then use the hard round brush alone to create very hard edges like reflections in jewelry. I know you're probably disappointed that there is no secret, there are no secret brushes that you can take and it will magically make your art better. But the quick news is that with these two brushes and practicing these two brushes, you can create amazing art pieces just like all these amazing artists. If you like this video, you might want to watch another video where I talk about the main things I have learned from studying Wolof, Rostros, and Sam Dusman. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.